Where do you see yourself 10 years from now? All behind you, you know, you're saying that five year cutoff, you want to get to five year in one hour. You're yeah. going to wake up, you know, two in the morning and go, we did it. Um, where do you see yourself 10 years from now? I, I see myself healthy. I see myself strong. Mm -hmm. um, I, uh, you know, I don't know if I'm gonna have grandkids in 10 years. I don't know any of that stuff, but um, I just see a lot of life ahead. I don't, <laughs> I, I don't, uh, I have hope. You know, I don't have the, um, I, I, I don't have a fatalistic mindset at all mm -hmm. about this. And, um, you know, one of the things Ganino told me was that um, I, I was telling him about them wanting me to do chemo and I just didn't want to do it. And he said, Albert, do you know why they do that? And um, I said, I, I don't, I guess to kill cancer. I don't really know. He said, it's because they think cancer is your problem. And I said, well, if cancer is not my problem, then what's my problem? He said, it's your immune system. Your immune system is designed to fight this off and it's not doing it. And, um, and then we learned, um, and I said, well, what's wrong with my immune system? He says, probably some toxins that are causing it. And there's some of them that, they, that are fairly easy to measure, like heavy metals. Well, it turns out I have, ha have high levels of gadolinium, which was from the contrast dye, and also cadmium. You've been eating batteries. <laughs> well... Um, it's from a lot of different things, yeah, um, yeah. and it's even from cigarette smoke. And um, and I'm not a smoker, mm -hmm. but um, you can still get it. And um, and so those things can do that. And then you know there's probably hundreds of toxins that that we didn't measure, mm -hmm. but we've been detoxing. So whatever those are, probably have moved on. But um, but yeah. So we so my mindset changed from fighting cancer to building um, an immune system. And which is, it's, it has nothing to do with the medicines, but it has everything to do with food. And so that's what I want to talk to you about, Julie, because three years ago, your life was cruising along. Kids were teenagers, you know, everything was good. How good can it be with two teenagers and all? Uh, and all of a sudden, you heard this you, you have cancer, your life changes. And then you met a naturopath. I love naturopathic doctors. I think everybody with a cancer doctor should have a naturopath mm -hmm. or a doctor like uh, Dr. John Ganino. Um, and you tell the most fascinating story about meeting with this uh, naturopath and she mentioned food. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Albert saying, wait a minute, wait a minute. You mean food impacts our immune system? And to somebody like me, that's totally shocking. I figured that out after Vietnam. I came home and was sick and changed my diet and I got better. Because my diet was, you know, bologna sandwiches, Oreo cookies, and Coors beer. Yeah. And I'll never forget Dr. Everett Hughes at USC Medical School, who I worked with, said, did you, you're not feeling good. No, I'm not. Did you change your diet? And I said, yeah. I now eat salami sandwiches, chocolate chip cookies, and Budweiser beer. That was my thinking, change your diet. Don't drink Coors beer, drink Budweiser beer. I mean, that's yeah. the way I was back then. And so many people today, it's almost as if the food industry doesn't want us to know that what we're walking down those aisles and throwing into our cart um, isn't really good for us. Yeah. Natural, do you find yourself shopping for organics a little more and shopping for vegetables as good? I mean, how, three years ago and now, how different? Well, very different for sure. Um, I would say that we, most of what I purchase are vegetables. Uh, it's it's going to be in, in organic vegetables if if they're available. So we're we're eating a lot more fresh organic vegetables. Um, if if we are eating, we've cut down on meats. When he was when he was going through his diagnosis or through the yeah therapy therapy, he was eating 100% vegan, raw vegan. So that was just vegetables. But we've added back in um, organic meats here and there. Um, but mostly just vegetables. So we spend a lot of time in the produce area. The way we process our food when we get it. Um, so these vegetables, we wash them. And even though they say organic, yeah. um, we've learned to, we actually wash them in um, hydrogen peroxide. H2O2 food grade, we do the same. Or Dr. Right. Bonner's soap, which we, we put okay. in a sink. I mean, you guys, you ever open a bag yeah. and smell? 
Mm -hmm. I just did, I read a study that um, the brassica family, a lot of cruciferous vegetables really help fight off cancer. Crucifix, mm -hmm. cruciferous vegetables mm -hmm. help fight off disease that we probably brought on ourselves without mm -hmm. even knowing it. Um, as long as I think we the people kind of stay ignorant about what we're eating and what's going on in doctors offices And I concur with you a hundred percent. I have lots of friends who are doctors love these men and women um, it, Sometimes doctors like any field go rogue and uh, We have to be careful of that, but it's basically I think what we're doing unknowingly to ourselves that may be inducing many of these diseases and you found out do you guys feel like you got a do-over? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. What are you going to do with it? Man, that's a, uh, I just, there's just a different energy now than before as far as wanting to be successful, wanting, and, and success um, can be defined in many ways, but being successful as a father, a husband, a, a friend, a business person, whatever that might be. Um, but, um, you know, I, I feel like these last two years have been really good. Like I, 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 uh, I, I try to. There's nothing negative I can think of that's happened that that has not led to something really good, and um, including the tumor, and um, the pain of the tumor was probably the most negative thing, and then everything else has been good. The the process, the healing. Um, we feel like. We asked Jesus to heal me before I even had the surgery. And we wanted, to, I wanted to go into this surgery and they open up my brain and go, there's nothing to remove, it's fine. Close it back up and wake up and nothing, everything's fine. That's not how it worked. And um, the surgery was there, they did remove it. We did, they did send it to pathology and it, it turned out, you know, as it is. But, um, you know, it's just, a, it's, it's been a good ride. Friends, stay tuned to Know the Cause because there are other episodes with Albert and Julie on them.